Hear the stories behind the most interesting tech, told by the people who created it. So what we're showing here at the show is a 3D printer that takes fruit juice and uses it to construct fruit. So for example, you can give it raspberry juice and build a raspberry out of it. But you can do more exciting things. So you can take uh, strawberry juice and cream and then build a single berry that looks like a strawberry but has some cream integrated into its structure. You can also do pretty crazy things like um, use pure liquid honey and then build a little berry that has the texture of a blackberry. But when you bite into it, it releases all of this honey flavor. It takes whatever liquid you give it, for example, fruit juice, uh, breaks it up into little droplets, and then uses those droplets as uh, building units. Um, and because of the technology we use, it's able to connect those droplets while keeping them separate. So you can uh, have several ingredients in one fruit, but they don't mix like in a smoothie until you bite into it. Because they stick together, uh, they can be used to build in three dimensions, so they don't, uh, after you stack them up, they don't roll everywhere like a bunch of marbles. Evolution hasn't given us a great deal of choice in the matter, um, although there's all sorts of delicious flavors. Pretty much all fruits is very sugary, and there's nowhere to find a, a low sugar fruit. Um, and if you like strawberries but can't eat the seeds or just don't like them, there's no easy way around it other than picking each seed off individually. So what this will let people do is um, have fruits or fruit-like food exactly how they want it and on demand. I'd expect uh, people to be able to buy these within the next few years, uh, certainly. Uh, we're already testing it with some chefs and uh, cocktail artists in uh, Cambridge in the UK where we're based, uh, so uh, they'll certainly be available for, for trials very soon. So what we've designed here is um, it's a handle that clips on a, a trolley and it uh, allows people to see the uh, contents of a label at a glance so people can very quickly see how much fat how much sugar how much um, salt there is in each in each product um, and also they can track allergens so for example if someone's um, allergic to a, uh, a specific product or nuts for example that are in a specific product they the lights would go red so it's very kind of lightweight and um, a light way to show people that there's certain things that they should be aware of or if they're particularly interested in that thing. Um, and we've done quite a bit of research and we found that um, applying nudge theory and fast and frugal shopping heuristics, we can really nudge people to uh, shop better, make better choices and also be quick about it. There's a few supermarkets already releasing uh, barcode scanners, so you can very quickly scan. At the moment, a lot of them just showing price, but as we know from our research, that people are also interested in a couple other things that are related to more healthy choices, um, not just price. So that could be an, kind of an extension of what they already have in supermarkets. Or we're also looking something a bit obviously smaller than this to, to you know, put it in your pocket and bring it to supermarket. That, that shouldn't be a problem.